Xavier Porter coming to you live direct. We are at King's Theater. I'm with the one and only Mecca Johnson. Nelson, excuse me, pardon me. You, and you just told me that too. I'm sorry, my apologies. Mecca Nelson. Uh, so, Mecca, what brings you out today? Oh, well, I come to support Justin, you know, mm -hmm. to watch his fight. As always, you know, he's, he always do a great job. You know, he always have that. At the same time, he's humble when he's fighting, but then he's a beast at the same time. That's yeah. what makes it amazing. So, yeah, I'm here to support. What do you think about the fights tonight? I think that was good. I mean, you still got some going on over there watching it now, but they're good. They're okay. real good. Love, I love me some sports. <laughs> this is the kind of sports I like. <laughs> now, tell me about exactly, you know, um, your how you say your background or you know your participation in oh, mixed martial yeah. arts in a sense in combat sports so um years ago i started training in martial arts um Brazilian jiu jitsu um, mixed martial arts mma uh kimbo karate uh qigong and tai chi Ooh. kickboxing so i have a few of them under my belt um, but it kind of came from a a realm of working through something that I had experienced and okay. um, it also helped me create my own discipline and the discipline is called the Yoma Method. So at that point what made me get into martial arts was to release some extra energy that I had, the energy that wasn't good because I, I kind of hated the world because okay. at that point I had lost my husband and he was oh. killed in Iraq. Yeah, and that was my everything, you know, so it it affected me in a way where, you know, you know, I was I had to find myself again mm -hmm. because I lost a part of myself. So with that allowing me to find myself and then at some time down the line I found yoga. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. <laughs> If you ever looking for something to help you mentally, physically, emotionally, yoga is like number one key. Uh, in my years and my journey of finding myself, I started to create something in my head that I didn't know the name of, and that's the Yuma Method, where I fuse yoga and martial arts together, mm. and I make it happen. So... Now you say you infused yoga and martial arts together. Oh yeah, with that, that sweet, amazing meditation. Mm. So... Um, <laughs> As I created my own philosophy behind it, and the work that I do with it is, it's amazing. Um, and you never know what you're doing until you you try, right? And I decided to take a leap and do what I had to do and make certain moves and steps. And now I utilize it to work with um, the youth, women, men. Um, my goal is to actually start putting more oomph into with veterans and uh, not even just veterans, but soldiers mm -hmm. uh, to help them with their postpartum, you know, not postpartum, but um, the, post the, yeah. the PTSD, PTSD mm -hmm. that they go through and um, to help those who've been through trauma because that's what the Yoma Method is surrounded around. Even for the youth that are in the school system and they're getting bullied and they have low self-esteem, lack of love or like even that, that, that self-love and confidence within them. So this is what I've been doing with the Yoma Method. It's, I also received an award from, a citation from Eric Adams, an award from the Simmering Woman. Uh, the Brooklyn Borough right? President. That's the Brooklyn Borough President, Eric Adams. <laughs> and um, the Simmering Woman, uh, Tremaine Wright, I also received the award, um, and from the Department of Education. So the work that I'm doing is, is paying off. The goal is to allow it to progress even further, because that's my baby. Okay. So, yeah, and I have a 15 year old that helps me fuse and do the work that needs to be done at the same time. It helps me learn more about the young youth and mm -hmm. the community nowadays. So what you're doing in a sense is you're not only, um, you know, helping to save lives and, and you're also uplifting the community as well. And giving them an opportunity to kind of address some of some issues within themselves that they may be dealing with, mm -hmm. but also utilizing the yoga methods and, the, and, and, and if they happen to have some mixed martial arts training or some type of boxing or whatever, combat training, combat sports training within them, they're able to utilize both methods to address some of the things that they're dealing with. Yes, but you don't even need to be educated about martial arts to do Absolutely. it. Because the way I teach it, it's not where you have to, because look, Rome wasn't built in a day, mm -hmm. and you're not gonna learn technique in a day and make it perfect, right? Yes. So the goal is to allow people to feel comfortable under their skin with doing something 
something that they never tried. A lot of people are afraid to do something different, especially martial arts. Because a lot of people are not able to, um, what, what, what do we call it? Go through with the process of being disciplined. Because that has a lot to do with martial arts. You know, so that's kind of like the nice little circle in the realm of it, how I, I move it. Um, I work with yoga, with future yoga instructors in Boston and I train them to work with individuals who who's experiencing um, probably like certain situations in their life in a moment and how to speak to them because you can't speak to people who are going through certain two things the same way you would talk to someone that may not have that same experience because everybody is different. Mm -hmm. So I try to, I'm trying to spread it out throughout the world, you know, to make things happen, to educate. And yes, I do a lot in the community, in the community. Um, I, I really do a lot in the community. I teach free <laughs> yoga classes. Mm. Out of um, your own time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You got to give back, you got to give back because my goal and my mission is to always be a blessing to others, mm. right? That is my mission and I'm, I'm doing it and I'm gonna do it as much as I can do it to make things happen for others and try to educate them on how yoga, and not just the intense martial arts, but the, the martial arts, the Tai Chi and Qigong allows you to move your energy. You can provide yourself with that healing chi, that energy to help you recover, whether it's mental, emotional, or physical. You can just take a breath into that space and focus on it and notice a big difference when you do that work and feel peaceful with it. So I, I actually did a session with Justin um, and he said he felt peaceful mm -hmm. after the session. After he finished all that intense work, he said he felt peaceful. So I kind of gave him that recovery moment for him after all the training that day. Mm -hmm. And it made me feel good for him, someone who just did an intense training session, to say something like that and to understand what it is to be at peace. Yeah. You know? So. Now, now, can you spell it? It's, it's oh, Yoma, the Yoma, yeah, Yoma Method. Yeah, spell it. It's the T H E Yoma, Y O M A Method. Okay. M E T H O D. Okay. All right. So for continued support, where can they follow you? Are you on Instagram, oh, social yeah. media? Oh yeah, you could go to yomamethod.com. My website, my phone number is also on the website. Um, you can also email me. And my Instagram is T-H-E underscore Y-O-M-A underscore M-E-T-H-O-D. The Yoma Method. And you All can right. find me there. Well, we appreciate your time, Mecca Nelson. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure to get it right this time, you yes, know? Yes, yes. All right. And like, like she said, make sure you follow her Instagram. If you want to get in contact with her, make sure you email her. And get, get with the Yoma method. The Yoma method. Peace, blessings. Be vigilant, self-discipline, and well-balanced. One love. All right.